Howdy guys, Cal Kellogg here. I want to talk to you about a skill that every sports person, every homeowner, every person that likes to cook should have, but few people have these days. I'm talking about knife sharpening. Here's one of my pet pocket knives. This is one of my, my Kershaw's one-handed operation. It's got the, the spring-loaded design. It's not a switchblade, it's a switchblade adjacent. Um, bottom line is, I meet so many people that have high quality knives, but they have no idea how to sharpen them. Um, I even saw when I got a Kershaw recently, there was a little piece of paper in the box that said you could send them back and have them sharpened by the factory. Who's got time to do that? What am I going to be in the middle of dressing out a deer and all of a sudden I got to put my knife in, a, in an envelope and send it back to Kershaw and wait for it to come back so I can start skinning again? That's not going to work. If, if you have knives, you need to be able to sharpen them. Now, when I grew up, I grew up hanging out with deer hunters up at a hunting club in Northern California, you know, the old tough guys. And if you couldn't sharpen a knife on a stone, you got zero respect. So I learned to sharpen knives on a stone and a diamond sharpener. I can even sharpen knives on cardboard, but uh, there are a couple tools that I found that are absolutely indispensable and they make knife sharpening really, really simple. And uh, I actually have a new toy I wanna to share with you. I haven't even tried it out yet. Let me put this knife away before I cut my finger. I'll just kind of set this in my, oh, actually I'll put it in my pocket for a minute. Um, this has become, over the last maybe eight years, this has become my go-to knife sharpener. It's a little little Lansky unit. Um, here it has a, a diamond rod for sharpening, you know, serrated blades and stuff like that. It's also nice and sharp. I've used it as a punch. It's just a very useful tool. On the uh, knife sharpening side, it has a carbide um, angled, you know, a draw sharpener that's at 20 degrees and it also has a ceramic rod also at 20 degrees. So the theory is, is that you use the carbide um, jaws first if your knife is really dull and it's going to kind of set the edge and then you go to the ceramic and if you're using this on a, a serrated blade knife you can use this to to get the the ceramic part right here to get the final finish on those scallops on a on a serrated blade this also works great for sharpening hooks and stuff so I like this unit, I've used it a lot. Um, it works very well, but I was on Amazon the other day and I saw a new Lansky tool. No way I would get rid of this one. A couple more words before I show you the new one. One, the ceramic rods in a sharpener like this, whether it's a Lansky or you know another brand, they can get jammed up with, uh, with the, 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 it's almost like powder, the, the metal that you're removing from the knife blade. The way to restore these, or that I found to restore them, is you get an old toothbrush, put your toothpaste in there, and just scrub them real good, and then rinse it off, let it dry out, and uh, they are back to new. That, that ceramic material is exceptionally hard. It should last for a lifetime. Um, second point. The thing is with a knife blade, when they become dull, we always think, well, I've worn, let's say this is a this is the edge of a knife right here. This is the, the cutting edge. So it's, you know, it's very thin, we've got it nicely polished. And we always assume like, you're skinning a deer or something and the knife starts to get dull. We always assume that I'm wearing this edge down. That happens for sure. But more often than not, what happens when you're dulling a knife is the edge is starting to curl over like that. And as you can see, that's fairly sharp right there. But if it starts to curl over, it gets blunt. And that's what the whole deal about the, the that's my knife, that's what the whole deal about that, uh, that carbide blade is. It doesn't really remove that much metal, but that, that curled over area, that's referred to as the burr, and it will remove that burr. And, and the way to tell if your knife is burr, just you know, be careful. Don't be like me and cut yourself. Um, funny story. My mom got me a Swiss Army knife when I was 12, and I maybe had it for 15 minutes before I cut a hole in my jeans and cut my leg. So be careful. But anyway, the way you tell if a knife has a burr is just take your, take your fingernail 
and just pull it off the edge. And if there's a burr there, you will feel your fingernail hang up on it. And there is no burr, there's a little bit right there. There's very little burr on this blade because I'm pretty religious about keeping my knife sharp. I guess that's my third point before I show you my new tool. It's a lot easier to keep a blade sharp than it is to restore a super dull blade. So if I'm out there, let's say I, I shoot a deer and I'm, I'm butchering up that deer, I've got a little cheap plastic Lansky sharpener that I keep in my pack and I will I will touch up that blade before it shows any signs of getting dull. That way I'll pull it through there five, six, seven, eight times on that ceramic, you know, the little rods and uh, the knife will never get dull. It just takes a few seconds, I'm right back to skinning. Whereas if I let the knife get totally dull, that's going to be a total pain in the butt. I'm going to have to use that carbide part and, you know, really work on it. So easier to keep a knife sharp, you know, than, than taking a really dull blade and getting it sharp. So it's maintenance. It's like having a car. Maintain your blade. It's not going to give you a lot of headaches, you know, as you, as you go forward. So let's take a look at this new Lansky tool before I share with you one more knife sharpening tip. So here it is in the package. Um, and they must have been really worried about people stealing these off of shelves in the store because this thing is like, I don't know, it's like melted shut. So what I did, I took my knife and I cut it open. So let's take a look at this. This is called the Lansky Multi-Angle D-Sharp. And it's a diamond sharpener. Looks like that in the package. Has some instructions on the back. I'm sure somewhere it says, don't cut your finger. Always sound advice when you're playing with knives. What sold me on this, as you can see, it still has that that same ceramic um, ceramic rod on top there for serrated blades or for sharpening fish hooks or whatever. But if you look at the side of this, you can see each slot has numbers. For example, this is 17 degrees, 20 degrees, 25 degrees, and 30 degrees. One of the knocks on the Lansky sharpeners, the, the first and second generations of them, was that they all came with that 20 degree angle and not all knives should be sharpened at 20 degrees. And you certainly don't want to sharpen something like a machete or a hatchet at 20 degrees. Or even if you have a, a big survival knife like a K-bar, you don't want that at 20 degrees. The, the, the steeper the angle, the thinner the blade, the quicker it's going to get dull and it's also subject to damage if you're doing things like cutting heavy bone and stuff. You know, when you're dealing with a hatchet, you don't want a real steep angle on that edge. Uh, a, more, a, a more shallow angle like that is going to stay sharper longer and that's what you want on something like a machete or a hatchet where you know you're going to be chopping with it you're going to be putting it to hard use that's what you want to go for but if you got a fillet knife let's say we're, we're filleting trout well you want that blade pretty thin and pretty well polished and uh, this sharpener is going to allow you to hit all those different angles depending on what kind of knife you've got if you buy a high-end knife it'll typically say somewhere in the packaging what the optimum angle is for sharpening. Now, obviously, I just took this guy out of the package. I haven't used it yet. I know it's going to work great. Lansky products, they're fairly priced, and they work very well. So this one doesn't have the ceramic rods. This has diamond-encrusted rods. So my final knife sharpening tip of the day, and uh, this is something you can go to the thrift store. This is probably something you can get out of your own closet, and I'm going to show you how it works here. Let me put this sharpener down. Let me, uh, let me break out my knife here. Here's my knife. Now let's say, let's say we took this knife and we did it with the carbide, it was pretty dull, and then we, we did it in the, in the ceramic or the diamond, and man, it's, it's getting pretty sharp. It feels pretty good. But what if we want to take it to that next level of sharpness? Well, here's how I do it. Let me show you this. This is an old pistol pistol belt. This is back back when I used to carry my 44 Magnum a lot. Um, this was, you know, like your Western style pistol belt with, uh, you can see where all the bullets were in there. That's where all the scallops were. And uh, I used to carry that around on my hip when I was out cutting firewood and stuff like that. Now I carry my Glock. I don't carry the 44 very often. And uh, I repurposed the belt as a knife sharpener. This is referred to as a strop or a strap. I think it's a strop. I think that's what they call it. Like this is what they used to sharpen, you know, razors on in the barber shop when you'd go in and say, "Give me a shave." Well, they'd get out that 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 razor strop and they'd sharpen that razor up and they'd give you the shave. 
which is something I want to do one day. I've still never done it. I'm 53 years old. One of these days, I'm going to go into a barber shop and I'm going to get to work because I want to see what that's all about. Uh, it's got to be somebody I trust, so I don't want some old guy with a shaky hand. But anyway, back to this. I, I mounted a hook on it so I can hook it different places. And this isn't the thing that I would carry out in the woods when I was, you know, dressing a deer or when I'm cleaning fish or whatever. This is something to really polish the blade with. Um, on most belts, you'll have the, the smooth finish side, which is here, and you'll have the more rough unfinished side, the back of it. That's the side you want to use. Um, let me adjust the camera here, and I'll show you how this is, how this is used to, to optimum effect. Hang on one second. I'll be right back. Okay, I've driven a nail in this big, beautiful hardwood tree, which is something you should never do because it can kill the tree. So I'm not going to leave that in there. I just put it in there for our demonstration. I'm going to pull it right back out. Because, you know, I don't want to kill this 80-year-old tree in my backyard and have it fall on my, my storage shed right here. But anyway, I've got that nail in there. I've got the hook attached to it. And uh, I'm putting a fair amount of tension on that strap right there. So we'll take the blade. Now, remember, this would be a blade that we've already gotten fairly sharp on a, a diamond hone or, you know, whatever you like to use. For me, it would be one of those Lansky sharpeners I just showed you. But take your blade and you just want to draw it away from the edge like that. Once there, once there, and just keep alternating like that. And you don't have to do it. You're not, I'm not bearing down on it real hard. I'm just drawing it across here. I'm polishing that edge. Got to be sure you don't hit your hand. Again, you don't want to cut yourself. But you just keep drawing it across there like that. That is going to put a very high polish on that blade it is going to get very very sharp very quickly so those are my recommendations if you're one of those guys out there that can't sharpen a knife grab yourself a landski something like that i swear by the landskis great price great product they flat out perform and then improvise yourself a leather strop and uh, you will be the envy of your buddies you'll be the guy with the razor sharp knife you'll be able to whip it out and Cut the hair off your arm just like that, and you're going to be an all-around cool dude. They're going to think you're an expert woodsman. Anyway, that's my tip for today. Keep your knife sharp. Focus on maintenance, and you're going to have a blade that doesn't let you down. I'm Cal Kellogg. I'm out of here. Remember, if you're looking for fishing gear, rods, reels, spoons, and more, fishhuntshoot.com. I'll catch you next time right here on YouTube, guys. Thanks a lot.